Did you find out what time? Uh, yeah, it's uh, oh, at 11 today. At 11? Yeah. Yeah, screw it. Oh, sorry, I didn't even check my phone. <laughs> okay, I'll see you down there. Yeesh. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I guess before we get into it, this will be part two of a two part, hopefully only, series where I'm doing some electrical in my friend's van. But also for those that have been watching and saw the last episode where I tried to put in the little green rocker switch to replace this, clearly the switch was a dud because this one works just fine. If you don't know, this is the switch from my DC to DC charger. I can turn it on and off. I'm gonna leave it run right now, just give myself a little bit of a charge. And all that being said, here is where it is at. So last time, I was installing shore power and basically DC to DC charging for my friend Amber's van right here. We got the shore power installed, it works great. And she got this little battery isolator from a mutual friend that sits in her engine bay. I don't know where she is. Uh, hopefully in there getting ready. Yeah, yes, there she is. But then the damnedest thing happened right at the end and at the end of a long day where you're fighting with everything and running wires through firewalls and every other darn thing. <sighs> yeah, so if you didn't watch the last video where I talked about this already, the whole issue with the with the 12 volt not coming through the wire and stuff, go watch that last video. That way you can know what the heck I'm talking about. But for those that did watch it, yeah, there's like about to be five to eight minutes more of that nonsense of me just rattling on and trying to prove to the internet that I'm not insane and there is no voltage coming through the wire. And I, I ran it outside her van, I ran it back under the van, and it was a whole thing and I still didn't have voltage. <clears throat> Long story short. <laughs> I think this is a case of me working too fast, not s taking the time to think about the problem and just a long, hard day and still being frustrated over something that is, that is quite simple. I'm pretty sure as I have been sort of supported in the comments of that previous video, that the issue is the fact that I don't have her house batteries grounded to the chassis, chassis, chassis frame. They're not grounded to Regina on the inside. So that makes so much sense that I'm not going to waste any more of that time on it in this video. We're just going to move right along and I will help her out when I, uh, when I have the time and we'll Hopefully get it sorted out. I'm pretty sure that's probably exactly the issue. Just goes to show, slow down, take your time, really think about it. Did you just take a dump? Hey, excuse me. You in there making my life miserable? Yes, that is how we bury our shit around here. Some people's kids. Anyway, we're just going to cut to when I was installing her fuse panel. And yes, I did manage to get it clean again. You'll see what I mean. Moving right along. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Fuse box is wired. Looks just as ugly as Lucky's, but hey, it is a functional. I just gotta get some P-clips to hold these major cables down. Other than that, she is now good to go. So Yay. I'm never coming back here again. <laughs> That's the last time I'm helping anybody. This is why I push on my channel. Look it up on the internet. Do it yourself. That's one of the reasons I really like it down at this provincial park is these washrooms, the new redesigned ones. They're heated, running water, flush toilets, real nice, especially on chillier days like today. And now, um, maybe I'll get to doing some stuff on Lucky. I've got my spark plugs and wires to do. As I mentioned before, it makes it a heck of a lot easier if you take your front tires off of the Chevy Express when you're doing them. And I also have rear shocks that were sent to me that I need to install. Let's see if there's this fancy place I keep hearing about uh, 
to see if they're open and if they have any availability today. Hang on. Yeah, that's right. Earn your keep. You pay me back. That's that's about even. That's couple about couple even. swipes on my window. <laughs> that's payback for the install of the entire electrical system. Exactly. <laughs> win win. <laughs> Don't forget to get the inside. <laughs> so I'll give them a call here in a minute. The place is called U Ranch, and I guess it's a place where you can go and you play like you play. Hang on. <laughs> uh -uh. You pay a flat hourly rate. I think it's twenty bucks, maybe twenty nine if you get a hoist. And it's just it's a indoor garage that you can come and do your own work. And there's also like licensed mechanics there that you can pay to do it for you for like ninety bucks an hour. Um, but I've, I just keep hearing about it, so I think I will go check that out. Hopefully, hopefully there's room today. I don't know. I'll get my secretary to give them a call when she's done cleaning the windows. One hell of a job over here. You're killing it. <laughs> so apparently it's first come first serve. They don't actually do any bookings. They have a spot available right now. We're about 20 minutes away. So we're gonna stop gapping, get the vans going and hopefully get a spot. <laughs> okay, cool. Are you ready to go more or less? Oh, garbage, yes. All right, tally frickin' ho. <laughs> and the camera survived too. I was gonna say, I was yeah. looking for your camera on the ground the whole way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's always going here to talk to them first. Yeah, I guess so. Let's be right. gotta be at the other side. Like, I'm pulling in here, I'm like, there's. Lucky you ain't gonna fit through any of these doors. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> you have to sign the waiver oh. in order to come in shop. Oh. Just on the back there. <laughs> So the, but the spot is taken, but he's just doing an oil change. So he says about 10 minutes, I should be able to get it in. Oh, okay. And I say, he thinks I should have enough time to get it all done. I don't know. All right, still waiting to get into the bay. I'm doing what I can to just sort of prep so the work's easier once I get in there because I got to take my two kick panels off and my doghouse off in order to get my spark plugs. I am going to start with my rear shocks because they'll be a little easier and then I'll have the rear shocks out of the house. That's Penny molesting the camera as she does. Thank you. I'm sorry, was I not giving you enough attention or something? Well, never. Meh. Meh. Hello. Oh, lady. Hello, oh, lady. Excuse me. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And it is our turn. Where we go, Penny? So this is the goal. Gotta get my, my rear shocks off. Yikes. Let's get her in the air. Bye bye, Lucky. Oh, 
All right. One bolt here, two bolts up there, both sides. That's it. Let's get her going. I should have gotten my light. <laughs> oh well. Nice, just like that. Like he's got new Bilstein shucks. It was pretty cool. Amber also found a roll of electrician's tape, apparently. Where was it? Uh, it was great. So, sitting right here. <laughs> because that's apparently where I keep my electrician's tape now. Okay. So I might get lucky here because we're on the lift, the suspension's down, so I don't think I'll have to take the tire off and get at my spark plugs, which are back in there. Gotta get this skirt off though. Take her skirt off. Still in the air. Everything's changed. We got all new wires, all new spark plugs. And we are gonna fire Lucky up and see how she do. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, Amber, clear. Get clear of the car, please. What? Stay clear. Oh, stay clear. Oh. Check engine light. Check engine light. No check engine light. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Now we can zip her all back up. Yeah, I definitely didn't plan to be doing shop work today with the way I dressed. And now I'm yuck again, so I think I'll probably have to be uh, day two in a row at the old Flying J truck stop shower because I'm also a little bit less of a man than I was when I started but that's par for the course <laughs> before I get to the flying J uh, I think Amber and I are gonna go to a place called crazy bins which is like some Amazon return thrift store that she goes to a lot and we're up in the neck of the woods where it is sounds like Regina needs new spark plugs I know a place where you can do it yourself Anyway, so far Lucky sounds really good. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be the solution to my starting issues. I'm sure hoping it is. The plugs, I should have kept them to show they were pretty fouled up. Uh, the little, I don't know how familiar anybody is with spark plugs, but there's a little tiny like tit right on the top before the part that arcs over. Little tiny thing. Yeah, that was gone completely flat on every single plug. Now I did those plugs about 48,000 kilometers ago, roughly, because that's when I got the van. So, yeah. This time I went with the cheaper ones as well, just the, uh, I think, platinum plugs. I probably should have gone for Iridium. It'll save me the headache of having to do them sooner. But regardless, now I know that this awesome place to come. That is, uh, that's amazing. For people like me that like to do stuff ourselves, that's pretty darn cool. I cannot believe I went this long without knowing it existed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I highly recommend it. Kelly, huge shout out to Kelly, the mechanic that was working there today. Super nice guy, very helpful. They let you use their tools and everything. And 
I guess we're going to crazy bins now. So well, let's get on the road. <laughs> This is a uh, hopping place. Wow. Bloody liquidation stores. All right, let's see what all the uh, fuss is about. <laughs> I'll tell you where we're going for dinner. Lisa Mario. Lisa, she knows there's only one left in the city. And we just passed it. Fun fact. The Cineplex Odeon, it's in the same parking lot up here in the Sunridge area. I used to work at that theater. What were you saying about a wrench? What the hell are oh, you doing? I'm doing a... a For the rest of this, go check out her channel. Mm -hmm. Before we go in, I had to put my Dixon on too because it is cold. Uh, where is my closest bottle? There it is. Mm. Hello. This stuff was recommended to me a while ago. Uh, by someone whose dad used to be in the trade, I used to be a mechanic, and it is, it is great. <sighs> I can't do this while I'm holding my phone. Busy AF. Oh, not for a seasoned uh, shopper of crazy bins. This is uh, those those usually never spot. <laughs> Yikes! And there's a spot right at the front door. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh that's cool. Just a big vacant lot. It's not nearly as fancy as I thought it would be. No. We we'll just go around and look through every bin we want. Just don't open boxes. Uh, this is stable. They'll have to buy it. How do you know what it? Then yeah, you just have to ask them to open it for you. And do a bin. You know, like like buy more every time they open it. Now that is not such a bad little find. This might be a nice install for when I have shore power and lucky three outlets, two USBs. Apparently everything here is ten dollars. That is what was in that other box. I remember, I was like, "What's in here?" It doesn't say. Oh, <laughs> the egg holder. That's to serve deviled eggs. My mother. This would be perfect <laughs> for when. But she only really makes deviled eggs for me. <laughs> Those bins are pretty crazy. Definitely too fast paced for me. I'm also feeling extremely tired. Crawling up and down on the hoist while the van was in the air. Like, did you forget tools and knew while I was doing the spark plugs and everything. I'm really tired. So, Amber's still in there. She's probably been in there for like four more hours. I'm gonna go back into Lucky and do some reorganizing. Uh, and then I think we'll be grabbing a bite to eat, which means I gotta learn to live in my yuck a little bit more. I guess I could change my t shirt uh, before I get to the Flying J. And if I'm feeling really tired, I'll even forego that and just give myself a nice little wipe down with my baby wipes. Van life. Am I pointing at my van? Obviously right there. <laughs> no, I didn't go to the Flying J. I did just give myself a little bit of a whore's bath and it was divine. I mean, it was okay. I did just leave the rest of the vlog there. I didn't do a proper outro or anything because I wanted to wait and see and run lucky for a few days. Hang on, this is just, it's 2023. We don't need to hold our own camera. Hey I wanted to run her for a few days and see if the spark plugs were in fact my issue. And I can safely say they were. Lucky starts up like a hot damn every single time now. So yeah, I don't know why I didn't think spark plugs to begin with. Probably because they should have lasted longer than 48,000 kilometers. I don't know, either Lucky's got a deeper issue or maybe they were just crappy spark plugs. I would mentioned in this that I, might, I should have gotten Iridium. My buddy at work looked up, apparently there's another type like Rothaconium or Rothinium or there's something with an R, an even higher grade of spark plug. Yeah, I'll definitely look into that the next time I have to do it because it is just a little bit of a bitch. But it is cool that that U-Wrench place exists. Like I said, I didn't even know that was a place and I just heard rumblings recently from other van lifers and whatnot. Super cool place. I will definitely be going back there. That is a perfect place for someone like me who likes to do his own wrenching, but is getting a little bit older and doesn't want to mess around with jacks and jack stands and that's that, that old thing. Let's get serious. When have I ever used a jack stand? Right, Penny? 
Also, an absolutely huge thank you to Sergey. He is the one who sent me those Bilstein shocks on the rear. And while I didn't film anything specifically with them, the mechanic at the shop, he had a good laugh when he pressed down on my old shocks. Yeah, they were done. And now Lucky's rear end just goes as she do. So if you like a bouncy rear end, Lucky ain't your girl. But I'm gonna leave this one here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun with these three videos. It was only ever intended to be basically one, but as I do, I film too much. And hey, we got three videos out of it, which is always, it's always fun for me on the creative end to be able to play around with things just a little bit. Um, a really big shout out and thank you to my entire Patreon community. You guys are rock stars over there. I truly appreciate all of your incredible support. You know what I've been going through lately, so thank you so much. And to everybody else, thank you very much for continuing to watch and click on my silly little face or thumbnails and my titles and every other darn thing. I'm very thankful and happy to have you guys here. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please click like. That really helps out apparently also leave a comment even if it's just to say hi apparently that also helps the, the channel out i am going to do a live stream tomorrow which is friday the 13th Ooh, spooky and until then everybody go out there be happy be creative be yourselves most importantly be positive and i'll see you all in the next one